start with the 10 simple referral systems. They are not the only, uh, there's not only 10. Uh, I used to share with people over 60 different ones. I just pick up, picked up 10 that I think that will be different enough from each other and valuable enough for as many people as possible. Just pick up the first one that clicks for you, try it out, put it into practice, and then as soon as it starts working and delivering results for you, pick up another one, again, do the same, test it. If it works for you, keep it. If it doesn't work, modify it, maybe throw it and try another one. The idea is that at the end, let's say a year from now, you should have four or five of them working for you simultaneously. They don't take more time. Most of them will not take extra time for that. They are basically set and forget. And uh, let's talk about the first one. Okay, the first one is what I call co-promotion. Okay, co-promotion. And basically what it means, it's, I'm going to say that, uh, to give the example for local businesses, but it doesn't have to be. But for local businesses, for example, the way to do it, let's say that you're a, you're a hairdresser, for example, or you're a personal trainer, or you're a, a yoga teacher, or you're having a company for cleaning services. You know, all those are working in a certain area. You're not going to go 200 kilometers to, a, a, to clean somebody's uh, offices, I guess. Uh, you're not going to give your, uh, your teaching, uh, your uh, yoga uh, classes uh, more than X amount of kilometers away from where you are, right, most of the time. But what happens if somebody calls you and says, hey, I'm really interested in your yoga lessons, but I'm coming from this city, you know, I'm 100 kilometers away. Will you come to our city? So what you want to do is to make sure that you build up a network of businesses just like you, just like yours, and businesses that you know, that you like, that you trust, that you can recommend, and you create a network throughout the country, everywhere. Okay, and everywhere. And when somebody is calling you and says, hey, I'm interested in your service, but I'm, you know, X kilometers away, then you can recommend and endorse one of the businesses that is closer to them. And what you want to do is to make sure that those businesses will do the same for you. So basically, this is a cross promotion. You don't know when it works, you don't know if it works. But the more you do that, the more phone calls or, or inquiries you will get that you will refer to others, the more they will refer to you. So this is a, this is a simple uh, referral uh, uh, system. It requires some time at the beginning to do the research and to find all those other uh, um, similar businesses, but in other uh, areas of the country. But when you set it, you can forget about it. And every now and then there will be a trickle of people that, yeah, yes, you know, so this, uh, this yoga teacher in, uh, in uh, the north told me about you and I'm moving to live in your city. And, uh, you know, I've been with her for six years, but uh, now that I'm moving to live in this city, she told me to contact you. And that happens all the time. So that's number one. Okay, that's refer system number one. We call it co-promotion. The second one, second one is about get those dream clients. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you have some ideas of who would be your dream clients, these big companies or big name people or VIPs or just people that you can think with a name or organization that you can think with a name and say, I would like this. This is my dream client. And what I want you to do is to make a list of 10, 10, 15, maybe 20 of those ideal clients. Okay, top clients, top uh, VIP clients, you know, really ideas. And what you want to do is then to go to look all your clients and plus your Facebook uh, friends and uh, likes, plus your LinkedIn connections and tell them, listen, I would like to work with this company or with this person or with this person in the organization. Do you know anybody? And if yes, could you refer me? And uh, by just spreading the, the, the message about it, people start thinking. Okay, and maybe they don't know exactly that person, but maybe they know somebody that knows and they will start making those connections. So this is, I would do that on a pretty regular basis, you know, you just months in a few months, you remind your, your, your network, your mailing list, your network, that, hey, I'm looking to work with those companies or with those people. Do you know anyone or can you get me closer to that? Can you refer me? And um, you'll be surprised. I mean, we do that sometimes in trainings. We ask, so how many of you can connect me to the queen? How many of you can connect me to a, you know, to a famous uh, rock star? How many of you can connect me to a, a HR manager of KLM or whatever it is? And there's always, uh, it's true that we're talking about a thousand people in the room, but there's always will be a few people that says, hey, I can get you closer there. Okay, and that's what you need to realize. That's the power of your network. And the better your network, the more diverse your network, the bigger and the more diverse their own network is. So remember, work the network of their network. So this is get those dream clients way. Another one is uh, what I call attached to the invoice. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure that you're sending some invoices either by email or by mail. And my suggestion is that the next time that you're, not next time, next times, every single time that you're sending one of your clients a, an invoice, you know that this is a client, right? Because you're sending them an invoice, which means that you're, they're paying you. So just with each invoice, add a thank you note, and with it, add, uh, add some kind of a gift certificate that they can give to somebody else. So you're sending somebody the, the, the invoice for their, I don't know, for the time that they did some massages with you. 
and then you just make a gift certificate for a 30 minutes massage for free with you that they can give to a friend and you can make one or two or three of those okay whatever works for you and you attach it to the invoice any way you send the invoice okay so you're actually leveraging this mail or email that you're already sending anyway very 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 powerful way the important thing that you realize is that it's a system it's not like mm, mm, shall i shall i send this person or not every time that you're sending an invoice every time that your secretary or personal assistant whoever it is that's sending those invoices that's a standard you don't have to think about it. it's a system there is always an attachment always the attachment is the same it's this voucher or this gift certificate if it's online then it's a digital one if it's offline then it's a physical one it doesn't matter but it's a system so it works for you as soon as you set it that's it, forget about it. And slowly, slowly, you will get people getting from that. That's how it works. And it might not happen in the first time or in the first months that you're doing it. But the more people getting invoices from you, the more they see that and the more they benefiting, of course, from your product services, the more they will share and give your gift certificates. The only thing I will make sure is that this gift certificate is not a discount, but something free. Discount is not a gift. Okay, and this you need to realize. So I suggest that you give them something for free, even if it's a half an hour or something or an intake or, or an assessment or a or is something digital, but something free is better to than something that is a discount. Does that make sense? All right, so let's move to number four. Number four, I like that a lot, we use that uh, many times, offer a group discount. Okay, so that's something that we can do in our business, maybe you have a similar business, and we can say, okay, listen, this, uh, the, this training or workshop or whatever it is costs 500 euros. However, for three people, we're gonna put you in a thousand euros. So if you bring two more people, each one of you is paying a lot less. Right? Now this person is going home and say, well, I can pay 500 or I can get to two of my friends, tell them about it, encourage them to join me and then we all pay less. That's how you grow the referrals. You can even tell them, well, if seven people are coming, then it's 1400 euros or something. So the price goes even less and they need to bring more people. Okay? We do that a lot and it it's always, always works. Uh, Again, it works for people that already know you, so for those of you that are already, already clients. So you tell them, listen, I have a new program or a new training or a new workshop or whatever it is. Uh, this is the price. If you bring two friends, they, that will be that price. Then basically everybody gets a be uh, benefit from that. So it's not just the referrer, but also the referrals are getting the benefit, same benefit. So I hope that's clear. So that was number four. Number five is uh, for those people that work in business to business. I told you I'm going to try to, you know, pick up the referral system that will work for different people, different businesses, so you can, so at least you'll have a couple of those that will be very, very powerful and effective for you. So the in-company referrals is when you're working in business to business, especially in a large company, not for a you know, small company, but in a large company, and you just finished the project and uh, the, you meet with your contact person for completion and they tell you how happy they are. And then you tell them, listen, you know, this is a big company and you know, I, gave you, I gave your department right now this communication training or whatever it is. Um, could you connect me to this other head of department so I can contact them to see if they need a communication training in their department? And they know those people, I mean, they are, they are in the same company and they will be happy to refer you after they got a good service from you. So for in-company, in big companies, for in-company, this is really, really crucial that you will actually use that. Do your own research, find out what other department might be able to benefit from your uh, services or products, and then contact your contact person, the one that already benefited from you, and just ask them internally to recommend you. So those are the first five out of 10 simple referral systems. And I'm gonna give you a minute right now to think and see, hmm, you know, which one of those can I do? Which one should be first? Or maybe you're already doing one of those or two, but you're not doing them as effective as could be. So I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it, write down your ideas, and then I'm gonna come back to you with the last five of the referral systems. So take a minute for that, and I'll see you back in a moment. All right, so uh, welcome back. Uh, hopefully that you already saw at least one uh, referral system that you can easily implement in your business and start seeing results. Let me cover the last five ones before we say goodbye for a, at least for this video before we go to the Q&A. Okay, so the next one, number six, is ask your top clients for referrals. And uh, we usually, what we're doing is we basically ask everybody in the same way. So if it's at the end of the business bootcamp, we give everybody the VIP cards and we tell them, if you know anybody, please give them the cards and they will benefit that of that. And we give it to a thousand people at a time for example. We also, in every newsletter, in every email that we're sending, there is a little uh, uh, sentence that say, hey, you know, uh, the next 
business bootcamp. We don't do it anymore, but let's say the next business bootcamp is happening there. If you know anybody that can benefit for that, if you know any small business owners that can benefit, please let them know. So we treat everybody equally. But you can also do it differently. If you have less clients, you can pick up your top 10 or 15 or maybe 20 clients, those people that are paying you the most. Okay, those people that over the years they were the most loyal, the most uh, paying, uh, the best clients, you know, your ideal clients, your top clients. And what you want to do is to actually make meetings, physical meetings with each one of those. You want to either go to their office or invite them to yours or go for coffee or lunch, whatever it is. Talk to them, you know, ask them how their business is doing, how they are enjoying what you did for them. Kind of remind them the value that they got from you in the past and then tell them, listen, um, I'm growing my business right now and I need your help. Remember that? And uh, is it okay if we'll go over your, uh, your contact list and f see if there's anyone that you know that I might be able to help? And uh, right now you're in a position that they will actually say, okay, you know, they, you just reminded them the value they got. They have their contact list either on the phone or in any other way. And they will be willing to go for it and say, oh, you know what? It's good that you asked me because I know this guy, Robert, you know, he could really be a good contact for you. And they might say the next sentence on the set. They might say, shall I call him and see if he's interested? If they say that, that's fantastic. If they don't say that, that's what you're saying. Uh, hey, that's great. That sounds like really great, this Robert. Uh, would you be willing to just pick up the phone and just, you know, and connect us and uh, tell him that I'm going to call him or tell him something? And they will do that for you. Okay, they will do that for you. I'm, I've done that so many times. Okay, this is very, very, very powerful. Just make sure that as soon as they made the introduction, you thank them and keep in contact with them uh, later and tell them, hey, you know, this worked or didn't work. Just let them know how, it, how things evolved. Okay, so this is asking your top clients for referrals. That was number six. Number seven is thank them for referring. And I mentioned that a little bit before, but I'm going to put it actually as a system. I want it to be part of your system. That every time after someone refers you to, a, to somebody that bought from you, to a buying client, what you want to do is to send them a nice gift. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it has to be special. I remember that there were days that we would send people a bunch of uh, helium balloons. It didn't cost a lot, but they would get it into their office and everybody would think that they have a birthday or something like that because they would get this huge bunch of helium balloons. But that was just a thank you for referring us. There was a period when we had lots of referrals, not as much as we have today, but we have maybe dozens of them a month, and we couldn't have the budget to actually thank everyone with a gift. So what we would do, we would send each and every one of them as a thank you, we would send a lottery ticket, which cost a few euros, you know, but it kept them in suspense for a whole week, you know, will I win, will I win? And by the way, if they would win, I don't know if it ever happened, but if they would win, they will, you know, be your raving fans forever, right? But just this suspense, they are thinking about you actually for a week, okay, which is pretty pretty cool so you want to send them a gift uh, that uh, and then what happens is somewhere unconsciously they want to do that more okay it's not that they do it for the gift but because you are grateful and people like that we, we all like to see that when we do something for somebody they are grateful we want to do more for those people so sending them a gift don't make it big don't make it a bribe don't make it a, you know just make it something more symbolic but that will make a big difference so and make it part of your system Okay, if you can do that, we are today, we are in too many people that we can handle that, but when you're having less people, absolutely, this is, should be one of, your, uh, one of your systems. Number eight, number eight. Uh, number eight is about getting a recommendation, and that's uh, taking the step of asking for referral a bit further. So when you ask somebody to refer uh, you, and they say, hmm, you know, I know this Robert, I think he's a good person for you, then what you're doing, you can ask them what we mentioned before, give him a call, or you can ask, is it okay for you to write down a few words to send to that Robert, and either they send it to Robert, or you send it to Robert, saying, hey, you know, uh, Max uh, just uh, thought that you could be a, a good connection for us, so here's what he wrote for you. Okay, so ask them to write a recommendation for you, a very short one, uh, either as an email or a, in any other way, and that can help. It takes this asking one step further and again, make it as a system. If you choose to do that, then you do that every time. You're asking somebody and when, as soon as they say, yes, I have somebody, then just ask them to write you a little uh, short email or a letter or whatever it is of recommendation. I hope that makes sense. So that was number eight. Number nine, we're almost there. Number nine. Okay, a follow-up call. Okay, this is quite cool. Uh, a few days or a few weeks after you just completed delivering whatever it is, the product, the service, the project, whatever it is that you do, you want to contact your client, preferably by phone. I don't like the phone so much, but it really works better this way. You call them and you ask them how they're doing and how is their business or how is their, you know, how is it that what you did for them? Do they feel better? Is their teeth are not painful anymore? Is their hair growing back? Whatever it is that you're helping them, right? Assuming that they're saying, yes, I'm happy, it was wonderful, thank you, then you ask them, do you know anyone that 
could also benefit from that. So the follow-up call, when asking them, you're actually a, a solicit, from, a solicit from them their happiness or their, their positive response. You don't wait for them to call you and say, hey, you know, what you did for me was fantastic. You actually call them and check with them how they are. And if they say that they are fantastic and they are grateful, then just ask for the referral. Okay, this is so simple, so cool, you just, and again, as a system, as soon as you finish with the client, you just put in your agenda, X days or X weeks from there, to call that client, ask for referrals, follow up, that's it. Okay, it's a system, you don't have to think about it, and it will always work. Okay, and last one, number 10. Okay, number 10 from the simple referral systems, I hope that you see that it's really not complicated. I pick up those that it takes no brain power to be able to do it. It doesn't take time, doesn't take effort, doesn't take uh, any money, you just need to set them up and let them work for you. Number 10 is ask for evaluation and then for referral. Okay, and this is similar to what we just discussed with the follow-up, but it's a little bit different. So as soon as the person or a client is, a comp you completed delivering them the product, the service, the project, whatever it is, you're sending them an evaluation form. And you ask them, so, you know, from 0 to 10, how do you like this? And from 0 to 10, how do you like that? And then assuming that they say that you are 9, 10, you tell them, you know, can you fill up names of three people that might be able to benefit from the same service or the same product? And we used to do that for a long, long time after the business bootcamp and some other trainings. We would send a, a survey, which actually included only two questions. And the first question was, uh, you know, from 0 to 10, how likely you are to recommend us to other people? And if people said 9 to 10, then the next question was, was what would you tell them? Get, just tell me what would you tell those people and then put a few names of those people. And that, again, created tons and tons of very, very valuable uh, clients for us. Of course, we needed to deal with those people that were less than nine and we dealt with them. But right now, just for your information, if they do say nine or ten or eight or nine or ten, basically you ask them, so what would you tell them and ask them for three names? And that's it. You're making it part of your system every time that somebody finished immediately the day after they get the evaluation with those three names. And again, your business grows steadily by using referrals, which is the most effective marketing strategy there is today. Does that make sense? That's it pretty much. Uh, we are on the hour, so we are, uh, we're doing very, very well on time. Uh, I'm going to see you on the other side of this video with any questions that you might have. So um, make sure that you remember, take one, start with one, see how it works for you, tweak it if you need. If it doesn't work, totally throw it, choose another one. The idea is that within a year, you'll have four or five at least of those uh, referral systems work for, working for you parallel, parallel, effortlessly, growing your business day in, day out. I hope that was good for you as it was good for me and until we meet again in the next time. Mm -hmm.